The Bear County emergency officials now have new capabilities to keep you and your family safe as you head out to the lake this weekend. All right, so the sheriff's office unveiling the brand new piece of equipment that will protect county residents for no cost. So Patty Santos shows us the agency's new rescue boat. Take a look. We're able to patrol every square inch of our county whether on land or on water, and we're happy, happy to have it. Bear County Sheriff deputies will have eyes on the water this weekend. This new rescue boat is the first of its kind for BCSO. Oh, from a first responders perspective, you, we don't want to be sitting here on the shore helpless while somebody's sinking. Earlier this year, Sheriff Javier Salazar put out a call for help after county commissioners denied his funding request to buy a rescue boat. Business owner Javier Gomez answered the call. He donated his barely used 2006 vessel, estimated at about $20,000. Now that uh, we have no use for it, I mean, why have it? Might as well just give, give it, donate it to somebody that's going to put good use to it and then save lives. Local business donors chipped in several thousands more to the Bear County Sheriff's Foundation to equip the boat and pay for its maintenance. This comes at zero cost to Bear County taxpayers. The boat will be stored at Bear County ESD 10 and will be loaned to other emergency crews as needed. The county also unveiled a new $21,000 Zodiac boat for swift water rescues. Uh, the Zodiac can get into smaller spaces and perform, help perform those technical rescues. So shortly we'll be adding ESD 12 with their rescue boat as well and continue to enhance the services offered by the ESDs in Bear County. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Well, the sheriff says the boats will primarily be seen around Bronick and Calavatus Lake.